All right, today I'll be going over uh, the instructions in this video, uh, SMB beacons for Cobalt Strike. So uh, let's get started. All right, so here I have an initial beacon on a desktop system. It's an HTTP uh, beacon. So that's our starting off point. So what we want to do now is we want to configure a listener for SMB. So let's do that. So we click the add button. And then right here, we'll call this listener SMB. We'll choose SMB. And for the name of the pipe, uh, we will call it uh, red team. So the way uh, SMB beacons works is that the communication happens through uh, the Windows name pipes. Okay, save. And for those who don't know what name pipes are, they are a Microsoft inner process uh, communication uh, objects. Okay, so we have that here now in the listener. We have an SMB listener uh, with the name SMS agent underscore red team. All right, so let's jump to our beacon here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, this jump command, which allows us uh, to use different methods of lateral movement. So in my setting, I tried the win, win RM, but I think there are some issues in my uh, Active Directory environment. So win RM is not working. So I will be using the PS exec. Okay, so uh, I think the other, is there anything else I wanted to show there? Okay, so I think that's it. So to do that, so my, my ultimate target is the server and the server's IP address is uh, 192.168.237.172. So we'll use that jump command and then the exploit in this case is PS exec. And then we put the IP address of the target that we want to uh, a lateral movement to with our uh, SMB beacon. So, okay, 237 and the address is 172. And then we put the, the name of the listener. In this case, the name of it is SMB. So uh, an another thing I wanna point out is that currently we have the user Dave. He's a domain user. And I believe on the domain, he has uh, admin a domain admin privileges. But on this particular host system, it looks like he does not have, uh, right now for this beacon, is, he's just a regular user on, on this current host. Okay, so we go ahead and run our uh, PS exec command and jackpot. Uh, okay, cool. So now we have a, um, we have a beacon on our target. So we do sleep zero, get UID. Uh, the thing that I do want to share, so first off, I think there's a bug here where uh, Cobalt Strike is not showing the correct listener uh, right here uh, for uh, the computer win uh, BQPFQ. Uh, this is actually going through SMB. And the way we can tell is that within the beacon right here, right, we're seeing messages about a link and how it's linking to the parent. So in this case, our original beacon on the desktop machine. So I wanna really quickly jump over to the server here. So the important thing to note from for blue teamers is uh, how SMB beacons work. So I'm using the system term tools uh, pipe list. And so it's gonna list all of our name pipes, uh, pipe list, there we go. And uh, the one we care about is the one on the bottom there. So we do find string uh, red team, right? So this bottom one is, is the one that we're interested in here, right? That was the that was a pipe name that we specified in our listener. And as we're seeing here on our uh, ultimate uh, target server uh, machine, right? Uh, we see that the, the name pipe is there. So for beginner blue teams, we would we could use something very obvious so they can sort of learn how pipes works, but for uh, more advanced blue teams, we could be a little more uh, tricky and challenging by uh, trying to blend in better uh, with the pipe name. Uh, was there anything else here? I, I think that's it in a nutshell. So that is uh, uh, SMB beacons and how it uses uh, name pipes.